So today we're going to be slanting or skewing or shearing text in Adobe Illustrator. That means the text is on like a slant. You saw the thumbnail. Let's open up Illustrator and get started. So we've just got this blank document here and I'm gonna put some text on my document. The type tool is T and I can just click out here and start typing. Okay, so we've got that written out. Now I'm gonna scale it up just by grabbing a corner, holding shift at the same time. The font that I used is a free hand brush font called Brew or Brux, I'm not sure which, uh, but here it is, okay? How do, we, how do we slant this guy? So we're gonna go up to Object down to transform and shear. I didn't know about this before, but I do now. You can see already that it previewed uh, what was happening there. So I've got preview check mark down here. Once you check that and you start adjusting the shear angle, you can adjust the angle at which your text is slanted. And now the text, the vertical axis of the text stays in line. So this isn't a rotation. This is this is a shear, right? So this is pretty cool because you can shear this text however you would like. Now the other cool thing about it, if I hit okay, is that this is still basically text in line, which means I can hit enter and I can start creating multiple lines of text. It's almost like you can do it with text boxes too. Text box, uh, the area type or just the point type is what I'm trying to say. You can do it with either of those types of methods of putting type in your document. All you have to do is go to transform and shear. That's pretty much it, honestly. This is pretty cool, actually. I didn't know that you could do this. The way that I knew before was a type on a path. So you would create a slanted line and then you would type on that path. Very limiting, can't do multiple lines without actually physically creating those slants. And then it's not quite as easily editable you can always get back into the transform option here to remove what you did or even increase it more if you want to edit your document later. The last thing, the one thing that could put this over the top, I haven't been able to find it yet, but if somebody out there finds it first, let me know, I'll do a tutorial on it. This doesn't really apply an effect to this object. I can't find my, uh, my, my transformation anywhere so I can edit it. So if there's a way to apply this to in the appearance panel somehow um, so that I could get back to it, turn it on and off and re-edit it, that would, that would be pretty awesome. The way you have to do it now is to kind of, I'll, I'll hop in here and show you, it's kind of like a backwards way. So we take this object again, go to transform down to shear. It's gonna re-shear that the same amount of degrees. Well, what we would have to do is sort of remove that by, and you can't even go past 360. So we had to go over to 180 and then start uh, just bumping this up until we pretty much remove any angle that we had put into it. And see, I don't even know exactly where that started. I guess 186 will uh, remove the angle, but that's kind of how you would remove it in a sense. I, I don't really like that way. So if there is any sort of editable way, That'd be freaking awesome. If you guys know it, let me know in the comments down below and uh, and I'll get a tutorial made. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket and I'll see you next time.